much wood. Yes, I did some off camera shit finally. So I don't really have to worry about uh, stuff, right? Well, I'm kind of scared I'm about to eat my words and stuff like that. So I kind of went around every region and I did some stuff, but I didn't really do too much stuff. Like I have like three things of milk, three things of water, you know, like a couple twigs. I ran out of the, like these guys, but hopefully I don't need those guys. But I'm and, like, I don't have any poison, but like I have stuff. Okay, I have stuff. I should be able to like talk for at least 10 minutes without needing to run around and do shit, okay? Like, like that, I want that, okay? So anyways, I don't know if we're gonna go to the market or the village. I think I wanna go to the market though, which I could like to just, just like skip this shit, but I'm not, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take my fucking time. <laughs> anyways, um, so I wanna go to the market because I saw someone begging and I'm gonna give them some money because I have money and I want to see if that's a different quest or not because I really don't know too much or per se because I think this is because it has to be this is the village and it is a guy over here hiding so this is you know the village where it's the wolf now I wonder who the hog is and I just you know passed him a couple times and I was just like really interested in seeing that thing and of course like I could have done that guy and made it faster but I'm gonna do the, the hog I think the wolf would be like the perfect one uh, at the end I'm assuming I don't really know but yeah so I saw someone begging and I'm thinking it's a hog if it's not they will go for the wolf instead and it'll be fine it'll be fine it'll be like take two seconds and stuff like that but I was over here and I was just mining my own shit and stuff like that. And I was trying my best to get cobblestone. I was trying my best to run around. But then I saw this motherfucker. And I was like, I really want to talk to you. But I can't. You know, like, I don't, I don't, I can't really do anything. So I'm going to help them. Anyways, clicking to the raggedy, uh, raggedy shawl. The old pan, uh, panhandler, uh, holy ten cup with a trembling hand. Uh, alms for the poor, uh, gold coin. Um, you bow your head respectfully to the aged fellow, drop the coin in his cup. For under his ragged, uh, ratty ho- uh, ugh, ugh, ugh. one second. Uh, from under his ratty hood, the man gleams a silver tooth grin at you. Thank you, kind miss. A penny for your thoughts, old timer. I'm afraid my thoughts are a little muddy of as late. Uh, can't seem to recall what day it is or what the last time I ate was. Uh, last I remember I was working at an old hog farm with the uh, other unfortunates. Not quite sure how I ended up back into the streets. Um, I don't know how I ended up back into the streets. Yeah, right. Okay, so I had more than a few memories abandoned me as well. Say, I must have left a few of my things back at the farm, misplaced my boots, and, well, I can't remember what else. I don't suppose you could do me some kindness and take a look around that place for me. I'm not as spry as I used to be. Uh, at the hog farm, he said? Uh, I guess it wouldn't hurt to take a peek. Maybe they have a lost in town. Uh, bless your heart. I do remember that you'll need permission to get through the gates, though. Those hog sisters run a tight ship. You'll have to talk to the big hog who works at the butcher shop, butcher's shop here in the market. She'll set you up with the worker slip. Okay. Okay. I got the hog story, by the way. I'm so excited. But, but why would it be the butcher shop that it'll be the hog? I'm just... I don't think that's fine. That I don't think that's cannibalism at the best, you know, like that's... Like, that's, um, one, that's gross. All of that's gross. Hello. I like your cheeks, though. I mean, that's the best I can got. <laughs> that's the best I can do. Um, ew, your nose is dripping. Wait, wait, ew. Um, chopping through a hawk of meat. A hawk of meat. Uh, with a gig uh, gigantic clever cleaver. The surely looking swine merely grunts as you approach. When you approach, excuse me, I heard that you were the one to talk to about getting a work slip. That's what you heard? Well, you heard wrong. Uh, we got enough good for nothing workers. Now buzz off. You glance at the hollow of the flies, halo of the flies buzzing around the pig's scalp. Uh, listen, there must be some way to get a slip. Well,. I've been wanting the low ingredients uh, to make summer sausages, and none of these uh, Nika poops can hold two thoughts in their head. Tell you what, you get me the things I need, and I'll give you a precious wook slip. I need roast beef. Of course I do. One second, let me just get roast beef. <laughs> 
Where's roast beef? There it is. Oh, uh, can I get it? Oh, fuck yeah. I don't even have to make spices. Hell yeah. Yo, I got roast beef, you motherfucker. Here, take it. Just, just, it's just chunk change anyways. I didn't work hard for it. What the fuck did my cat go? He abandoned me. Anyways, I just chunk change anyways. I don't, I don't need that shit. Um, let's see. Here's some roast beef. Uh, you plop the sweet smelling hawk down onto a relatively clean section of the countertop. The pig grunts into acknowledgement. Mm, nice. Uh, here's some eggs. Five fucking eggs. You push the basket of eggs towards the hog. Uh, she holds each one up to the candle flame and oinks, uh, in the period of satisfaction. Um, tell you what. Oh, you keep saying that. Anyways, here's some scales. You fit, uh, you fishy catch. Your fishy catch still flops about, oh, okay. Uh, grasping for water, but the hog puts a stop to that with her hefty clever. Got it. Love that. Head for the, up to the market. Go northeast, like I know my directions. Go northeast and give that this to my sister at the gate. The smell of the hot do uh, dog out to guide you to that spot. Oh, cool. I can hardly contain myself. We got a uh, certain... Certain? You got to contain yourself at the hog farm for I'll lose my temper. She slaps a work slip down at the table. Thank you. I'll see your sister in a second. I'm possibly gonna kill your father. Who knows? I mean, I don't mean to. Wait, I want to break up the family and stuff like that. I mean, if he's bad and stuff like that, I'll eat him. That's a bad joke. Okay, anyways. I mean, I really don't eat so much pork chops. I'd rather just, like, have chicken and stuff like that. Um, where are we going? We're going oh, northeast. Uh, so it's wee. So we'll go to the right. It should be up here. To the pig's farm. Cool, got it. This is how I literally do my directions and stuff like that. It's like this wee. That's the only way I know exactly where I'm going. Not up and down. Whoa there! No one gets into our hog farm without a work slip. Uh, and if you want to work for us, you gotta, uh, fit the de uh, demographic. What? Why? And what demographic is that? The kind that don't ask, uh, so many stupid questions. Now, you got a work slip or not? Yeah, I do. You hand over the work, uh, you hand over the slip of paper to the hog, squints at it with his picky little eyes. Hmm. You don't look like you can lift a wheelbarrow, let alone last a good day of work. You're nothing but skin and bones. Oh, oh, okay. I got the work slip, don't I? Uh, so let me in. Fine, fine. If it's no bacon off my back, if you find yourself face down in the mud after you old heart, get out, give out. Thank you. Let me in. Let me just uh, pick this up and take this. So, how are you different from the pigs over there? Is it because you're like a pig and not a hog? Are they the same thing? Ooh, and you're gigantic. Uh, I didn't mean to touch shit, but I did. Uh, the particular pig looked a bit green in the face, and the older and many- Nope. Nope. I'm trying- I'm like, reading this at the same time as processing these words at the same time. And I'm just like, wait, that's kind of gross. Wait. The particular pig looked at the big, uh, it looks a little bit green in the face, and the odor em emanates from it are somehow even worse in the local, uh, boutique. What happened, Hamlet? Uh, did you eat something that didn't agree with you? Some strong, uh, stomach medicine ought to sort you out. Aww, I'm gonna help? I'm gonna help someone? What else do I need? Search for the, uh, pig farm for the belongings. Oh, that's what I need. But I'm gonna go help this pig. Here you go, little Hamlet. I hope you feel better. Toss. Hope you like it. Hope you're not dead. Oh, cool. Uh, not the pickiest eater. The, uh, sick swine eagerly gobbled up the anti- uh, anti Uh, you offered it. You hear a bubbling sound coming from the pig's stomach and decided it's the best to avert your eyes from the horrorful, uh, horrors of nature's process. Uh, oh, that's fun fact. It was horrible. It was fucking horrible. I saw, I was, like, going in fifth grade camp. I was gonna go ride a horse and stuff like that, okay? But we had to go past horses. And then we watched one that took a shit. And, uh, it was, like, the grossest thing possible because i tried to avoid my eyes and stuff like that and then he walked away because it was the fastest fucking thing possible and then it was just a glob that was smoking and all and then now you're fucking dramatized i don't give a shit and it's like it was a glob that was smoking i was just all i could do as a child was like 
ill and then walk away and then continue to ride a single it wasn't this i don't think it was the same horse i hope not but it could be the fucking same horse i just rode and had fun and what pisses me off the most is that they were shooting like while we were riding it and i was just like yes i didn't grow up like that i wanted to ride a horse and enjoy but that shit happened and i'm like okay well kind of cool if you were running fast and not behind another horse and they were doing stuff that's fine i mean i'm okay but no it was like literally riding behind a horse well they were taking a shit or falling asleep and stuff like that and just like actively just not fun anyways now looking back it's actively not fun as a child being so fucking tall and uh even if it was falling asleep on me and i just needed someone to guide it and i was just like playing pony it was fucking fun. It was amazing. 10 out of 10. We'll do it again. Anyways, would you look back at the pig? I was falling asleep in the mud, looking much happier with uh, state speed. You turn your attention to the aftermath and the cock of obviously cause for the beast. And, uh, you want me to take bones? You want me to take questionable bones? You took out his shit and his bones? Ew. What? Stop you, Swain. What? Are you trying to get, like, to the the um you know what i'm going um what do you mean by the beggar's belongings that's not his belongings i don't think he would have bones anyways the slob through is uh so is overflow uh, overflow with filth like something gets clogging uh the drain hole throughout cleaning process uh such as a uh, obstacle okay so you want me to do water okay i'll go ahead and do that <laughs> See, this is what I wanted. Cool, I cleaned it. I'm just cleaning it so it's like okay to be okay living in here, which it should be already. It shouldn't be like some sort of slob over here. Like, it should be clean. Um, you flush out the disgusting containers, even uh, eventually getting to the root of the drainage problem. Pick it up. A tooth. That's odd. I doubt any pigs around here had much dental work done. I. I. Um. I have no theories. I want to go talk whatever these guys are talking about. Hello! Are you guys okay? Uh, the gaggle, uh, gaggle of workers appears to be squawking over something. I uh, hand it over. I saw it first. Uh, fat chance. You already got those good legs wrapped. Well, I'm going, I'm still going barefoot. Give it here. The object of the contention. A dirty old boot. Ah, that must be the friend forgotten piece of footwear. Um, let me just yoink it from them. Uh, the workers ignored you and continued fighting over the pathetic prize. Uh, you want three elf shoes, and of course I only have two, and then a growth potion. Got it, love that. I need to make a growth potion, and I need to go get some more elves. Uh, this is a growth potion. I need two of these. So what is this? I need this. I have a lot of, like, organs. Or, like, blood and stuff like that, which is perfect, because now I don't have to really worry about shit. Um, I'll go ahead and get this done, and I'm going to go get an elf shoes, which elf shoes is actually into the village, and I have to murder someone. That's fine, because I only have to do it one time, and I do have the ingredients for that shit, but if it was, like, 50 fucking times, I would have been pissed. Hopefully, we can, like, go smoothly with this guy and, like, enjoy ourselves for the first time. It's always my fault that I don't, like, really do off-camera shit, though. Like, that's the only reason why I'm not, like, blaming in the game, because, like, this makes it so that you explore and, like, actually can genuinely enjoy the game, because it's really fun when I go off-camera and I'm, like, like, just running around, there's a little munchkin I can kill. Um, but I just never do that. Uh, where is the thing? Where is the thing? I have the thing, and luckily it's only one, because now I don't have any fireflies. Come on, child. I just want to take your shoes. I just want- You could just give it to me, too, but no, I want to murder you for it. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Oh, uh, we're just right there. Someone's going to drag you along. Uh, at least we're going to get the one shoe thing, and then we should be good for the old man and then give him his stuff back, which is really weird because it's like, it's silver tooth. He doesn't already have like, another silver tooth. Um, also, why would it be in the drain? Like, and then why would it be eating bones? What? Bones. It's bone. I don't understand why would it be belonging to the guy that I just saw, you know? <sighs> Here you go. The girls ignored you. Growth potion. You pop the cork of the growth potion. The workers ignored you. Elf shoes. You put down the miniscule slippers uh, that won't be big enough for anybody. 
and then you sprinkled a couple of carefully measured drops of growth potion onto the tiny shoes. You know, I think I would keep the growth potion if I was able to like, just do only a couple drops, you know. Uh, the, they make a, a sound like popcorn and bust into size or more of accommodating to human feet. The Bickley and Wilkers look over at the source of the noise and their eyes go wide. Hey, look! Are those new shoes? Dropping the old boots in the mud, they rush over to try on the new footwear. Check it out! They got jingling bells on the toes. Cool, I'll take the shoes, but you guys will say thank you, you know? You sort through the collection of objects you require. A silver tooth, a human bone, and a chewed shoe. I'm not sure what happened in this horrible place, but I got a suspicion that this old beggar has lost more than what his memories here. Um, I better go see him. He's missing his boot, at, very, at the very least. You know. Um, at least you guys are enjoying yourself. Goodbye. At least she's like at the very least, so it's not like he's uh, missing his bones and stuff, correct? Like he's not- He's not being eaten, correct? That'd be so weird. You know, pigs eat every single day. I mean, I do like pork chops, so don't get me wrong. I just don't know how to really cook it and stuff like that. I don't go out of my way to like go ahead and cook it. I go ahead and go out of my way to cook like beef and stuff like that. And like steak and like, um, uh, what's it called? Chicken? I like- my favorite thing, I'm like making barbecue chicken right now. Or tonight, because I'm defrosting the chicken right now. I can't wait. It's, it's so good. Love that. Um, I like Cheka's barbecue chicken. Like, that's my favorite. I'm trying best to replicate that as much as I can. <laughs> I'm poor. I can't, can't, I can't spend Cheka's uh, chicken all the time. I'm just going to make it myself. And it'll be saucier. Uh, no, no, they drown this shit with uh, sauce too. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Ah, you return. Did you have any luck finding my uh, lost? What what was the thing I lost? Oh, because he's struggling because he doesn't have memories. That's why. Ah, I thought he was like a automatically suspect. I was like, the fuck do you mean? What do you you don't remember already? Yeah, because he's having brain problems. Uh ah, you you return. Did you have any luck finding my uh? What did I lost again? Your yeah, place uh the. You place a collective of manes in front of the man. Do any of these look familiar to you? Oh, that's my favorite boot! I was wondering where that gone off to, but what are these? The man run his fingers over the bone and silver tooth with a creepy realization across his face. His skin began to take on a pair of po uh, pallor. And he's dead. I was hoping that it was not that, but I, you know. I was just hoping. <laughs> Cause I was like, bones? He could be missing a leg. I'm not hoping that he's dead and stuff like that. You know, I'm just hoping that he's losing his arm. Uh, am I, am I dead? Uh, it would be certainly appear that way. You know, don't you, don't feel bad though. Uh, those sorts of things have a way of sinking up on us. But I remember now. I was at the hog uh, farm, but I was too old, too weak to work. The sisters, they said I was useless. They threw me in the feed though. Oh, yeah, and then, uh, and then what's weird is that he had a silver too, so why wouldn't I be able to, like, pick that up from the drain? So, there you go. Um, and all those hungry pigs. Oh, no, 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 how could they, how could they do this to me? All my life I was starving. I had to beg for the table scraps, and they fed me to the pigs? I'm so sorry that things ended that way. We ought to, f uh, hold a feast, uh, to your honor your life properly. A feast? I never had a feast. Where would we get food, and who would come? Everybody... I know it's sleeping away that horrible soul. Uh, you cast a glance at the nearby uh, contribute com communal cooking pit. I think I have a solution for both of the problems. Don't worry, I'll make sure you have a meal to remember. Okay, I'm gonna. <laughs> Am I gonna roast a pig? Am I gonna roast a pig? Ah, that would be perfect. Anyways, where's the where's the cooking pot in the market? Am I gonna cook? Oh, I would love to make some pork chops. I'm perfect. We have veggies right here. Cause you guys are eating fucking veggies. I don't fucking understand. Um, is this the cooking area? This is not it. Bake until you make it. No. Where would the cooking area be? I really don't know. Is this the cooking pot? Okay, I was it was full of books and I was just like, it's kind of glowing. Could this be it? Uh, this pit has seen its fair share of community uh, cookouts. Though it, is, it isn't in the best shape, it will be enough for what you have in mind though. Uh, now then, what should be on the menu? You cup your hands together hungrily. I think pork would be the most appropriate. <laughs> 
Uh, fine. I'll, uh, fine. First, I'll fashion up the proper containers. A feast, uh, needs not the f to be fresh, but if the spirit is not, uh, hungry. I didn't, what? Okay, what is that? Where is this goat? Uh, where is that? Okay, it's up here. I like how I'm filling my stuff up, though. I, like, I want to, like, talk about that sometimes. This is, like, so cute on how, like, it's going. It's so nice. Anyways, I need a body. Okay, I need a mannequin. What is this? Um, I need a voodoo doll. I have a voodoo doll. Cool. And then I can go ahead and make this thing. And I go ahead and make the thing that I need. Cool. Pig thing. Um, right? Correct. Cool. Love that. Perfect. Um, put that here. First, I'll have to fashion the proper containment. Containment. Uh, you've set the tiny f uh, false creature among the ashes of the cooking pot. Pit. It wiggles and squeals with uh, impotent hunger. Uh, now to fashion up a little piggy, I start with the smallest pig sister, but then I'll need to collect special something special to bind her spirit. Am I gonna take two souls? Um, leave. Let me go ahead and go get whatever that is. Um. What was that? What was that? What did I need to do? Do I need to go to the sister? I don't think I need to. I don't need to, like, craft some of them. Uh, let me, let me take that for a couple seconds. Now I need to find out the little piggy. I got to collect those spirits. Small pig, uh, switch. That's probably her spirit, to be honest. So let's go talk to the little sister, which the small sister is at the pig farm. And the, I think the big sister is at the butcher market, I'm thinking. So let's go to the pig farm. I think. Uh, let's go murder people. <laughs> Why wouldn't I just, like, take these guys instead of taking the souls and stuff that I pick them up and then roast them like they did to that guy? Like, why not? And also, that's kind of gross. Like, that's, like, I don't want to eat a pig that ate a human, you know? Like, you remember in Walking Dead? Oh, wait, I shouldn't say remember. I remember in Walking Dead. Uh, there was, like, one of these episodes, and they were feeding pig, uh, the, the pigs. They were feeding zombies to the pigs and stuff like that because they didn't like the guy. This is the pig sister. Oh, I didn't even notice you. That's the reason why you're so small. Um, anyways, uh, so they're picking... They were killing the zombies. They were not killing the zombies. The zombies were alive and they were eating the zombies. Uh, no. There was dead zombies and they were feeding the zombies to the pigs. The pigs were eating it. They were alive and then they, uh, were sent off to... For some reason, they didn't get to track the zombie virus, by the way. But they gave it... Like, they, uh, were feeding it to the one burglar type guys. You know, the traders and stuff like that. The bad people. And they ate it. And they were feeling bad and stuff like that. And it was, you know, stuff. You know, that was cool. Anyways, uh, so it kind of grosses me out after that. Um, still, I eat I eat pork, though, but it still kind of, like, reminds me. And I'm just like, if I become a zombie from this, uh, well, and, Z uh, not Zane Asian, um, and, uh, Last of Us, they technically became zombies by flowers. So whatever we do, it's gonna, we're gonna be, become zombies no matter what. I'll become the first zombie, though. That's my goal. <laughs> Uh, you can hear the- I don't think I'll be able to go become a first zombie. I'm not a scientist or anything like that. But, if I see a zombie, the day one of zombie apocalypse, I'm going to become the first- I'm going to become a zombie. That's- no, no kidding. Just going to straight up be like, oh yes, I'm dead. Um, you can hear the runty, uh, swine squealing even, uh, before you see her. Holding her crops high, she, uh, boos herself, uh, ambitionally as the clutter of the poor workers out. Oh. Uh, to feed your, uh, useless romp tromp, romps to the meat grinder, you filthy like mongrel. Do you, we pay you to work or to sleep? The recoil, uh, recoil, uh, from their taskmaster's lashing. You don't pay us at all! Say there, you seem to have you gotten yourself a lot of use from those, uh, grotty old switch. What, uh, uh what would you say, a trade? What? A trade? I have this whipper, uh... Ever since I were ye suckling. Uh, no way, no how. How can I give this precious up for the flock? Uh, pff, Last Master 2000. Okay, cool. I love that. I love how it's 2000. Uh, cool. Can I get that? No, I need... Uh, I need all this stuff. 
I did so much off camera work. I thought I was good. I thought I was like down. I thought I was okay. That's so much work. That's so much stuff. You know what? It's fine. We'll just go do this. And next episode, I'll go ahead and get all this stuff on the off camera so then go ahead and go continue talking to every single person else and enjoy my life. I'll see you guys then. Though. Bye. <laughs>